my man still got it. All right, these Chris Brown, well, it's supposed to it's supposed to say these Chris Brown meet and greets, not greet and meets. Remind me to fire the producer. But these Chris Brown meet and greets are out of control. All right, so recently uh, Chris Brown has been going viral because of the way he's been uh, touching his fans during their meet and greets. Uh, some people have a problem with it. Some some others don't see anything wrong. I personally don't see anything wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. All right. So yeah, this is, uh, I feel like I, like I said, I don't see anything wrong. If these are, if these ladies are single, like they can do whatever they want to do. If they want an artist to touch them there, they can, they can do that. But if these women are married or they have boyfriends, then yeah, the, the boyfriend would have every reason to be upset with this. Like this, <laughs> this is not okay. Like, like, I feel like you're crossing a boundary that like, yeah, this, this is not okay. Like me personally. But like I said, if, if these girls are single, then you go ahead and do whatever you want. Like you're, it's a free world. But I'm just saying like, I, I, I would understand like the boyfriend and the husband's point of view if they're upset. Now, I know there are some guys upset because I, I guess because they can't get these girls. And for for those of you, just work on yourself. That's all I can say. Work on yourself. All right. Look at these pictures. All right. And then here's a uh, here's footage of Chris Brown on the concert and showing off his dance skills. My man still got it. So Chris Brown. All right, and this right here, uh, this talking head is I have no I have no idea who this talking head is, but he's pretty funny. He's uh he's gonna go ahead and and and, and describe the I, I guess he's gonna describe why guys aren't feeling these Chris Brown meet and greets. So go ahead, floating head. Brown is back with his viral meet and greets, and I see the same dudes who came to get a free hug in the club upset about it again. Let me just make it plain and simple. Y'all will never be Chris Brown. Try and be Chris Green, Chris Red, Chris Blue, but you'll never be Chris Brown. This man can sing, dance, act, draw, backflip on beat, play basketball, fight. Like, what do you mean? And until you can do this, I don't want to hear nothing. You can't do this. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, I'm coming up. Boop, bop. Like, stop playing with this man. Uh. <laughs> you know who this guy looks like? He looks like Killer Mike. Like, he doesn't sound like Killer Mike at all, but he looks a little bit like Killer Mike. Yeah, you can't do that. That's what they're paying for. You would have broke your back. And Quavo, this who you thought you was beating up? Man, please. Now, I will say $1,111 is a little steep, but if you got it, why not use it for what you want to use it for? And obviously, they're happy. They are smiling from cheek to cheek, literally. And what's even crazier is some of them is repeated offenders for buying a meet and greet. Like, this one girl wore her old picture to the new picture. And I mean, all the pictures not like that. There are some wholesome pictures, but if I'm paying a thousand dollars, I would not call this a wholesome picture. The man is, <laughs> the man is giving a big smooch on her cheek. You have to do more than give me a church kiss. Like, yeah, grab this leg. Like we on Dancing with the Stars. Get your money's worth. I'm not mad at it at all. Like, how can you even hate on this? And I feel like a lot of people just mad because he still has a fan base and they tried to blackball this man, but it's not working. And if you don't trust your girl around Chris Brown, just make sure she don't get a meet and greet because she's going to be meeting and greeting. When you're See, so this guy understands. He's saying if you don't trust your girl around me, around Chris Brown, she's she's gonna get a meet and greet. And like, like I'm saying, like if unless you're the boyfriend or the husband, why do you care? Like, let these girls, if these girls wanna <laughs> wanna get felt up by Chris Brown, and something tells me like Chris Brown's taking some of these girls home after the show. Like, let's not kid ourselves. Like he, this is like an all you can eat buffet for him. Like he has his pick of the litter. Um. But let's go ahead and, and check out chat. Oh, it looks like uh, Hyper Shadow finally joined us. All right, Hyper Shadow. At least Chris Breezy d didn't touch any of them with an umbrella Ella Ella. Um, that dude does not look like Killer Mike. <laughs> Maybe if Killer Mike and Mike Tyson and Big Mouth had a had a baby, LO. Look at those big teeth. Big Mouth the cartoon. I mean, let's not... Let's not <laughs> look shame. Let's not look shame. He, like, when I said he looked like Chris Brown, I, I kind of just meant, like, his, uh, I don't know, the shape of his face and the way he wears his hat. Introducing the Late Night Late Night Show with your host, Cuddy Bino. Live streamed every Sunday night at midnight. 
search Cuddy Bino on YouTube to catch the first episode.